Steve Nation, how are we doing? Happy Monday. Monday is my mentoring day, so I'm spending the day mentoring my team. We're doing a special bonus live session right now because I'm looking for my uh, my friend Manko. There, I see him in the house. So bring him in, see if I can bring him some value. Let's do it. Happy Monday. Special special bonus time for you guys. Ho! Oh, look at this guy. How you doing, man? Great, just setting everything up. Can you hear me? Can you see me? I hear you. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. Good morning. Is, is that the How new t-shirt? Is that the new hoodie? Is that the new logo? What is no, that? No, it's, it's a classic. It's a classic. It's, a, it's one of the prototypes. Okay, but it's yours. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I like it, dude. I it's one of the it. prototypes for Team PMA. It's a little old school. Got the 80s fire around it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And what's the hat? Does the hat say liquid? Oh, it's a Team Liquid hat. Wow. wow. I don't know if I could talk to you anymore. Team Liquid. Jesus Christ, Manko. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I mean, you know, the off-season move is like watching the NBA. It's nice. Oh, I love it. Except I'm a yeah. TSM fan, so it's it's all falling. It's all, it's all no, getting this. No, no. Power of Evil is great. I love yeah. Power of Evil, dude. I yeah. love Power of Evil. But Sword Art's not coming. Double is retiring, probably. We'll see. Hooney in the top lane, like oh, we just Listen. needed to get Licorice, Spica, Pio. Anyway, what if Double Lift was holding them back all along? Hmm? Maybe he retires, goes on to better things, and then a rookie comes in and bada boom, bada bing. Bjergsen yeah. coaching, Power Evil leading the troops. You never know what's gonna happen. I, listen, I think people are sleeping on Poe. I think yeah, Poe is legit. Po Poe is a legit stud. Uh, you boy. I I don't. I don't know that there's a big drop between double lift and loss. Depends. What, depends what version of double lift. Loss is the academy guy. Uh, I don't know what kind of drop off there is, if any, to be honest. But yeah. but it we need be... support. We need a support. Nobody wants to come. We need a top laner. Licorice is gone. I wanted licorice. I was waiting. For, I was on the licorice train. It's not happening. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Invested. It's cool. <laughs> I dig it. <laughs> I've been getting more into it the more I watch it. The, the off season moves. Yeah, but you're into liquid. Come on, man. All right. Anyway, Kyle Manko, uh, on, man. one of the world's greatest team of players, he coaches me on how to get better on league, and I help him with his business. So what do we got, man? Uh, we're just the same as last time. Not really much has been uh, – uh, it's it's all going good. It's like just running smooth, right? We're just – but it's not like no big moves are happening. Every time I talk with you, I like to get big moves going. Um, okay. So what happened? Why is there a lack of big moves? What are we doing? Uh, I, I don't, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You're just being consistent and keeping it going. If okay. you're not always having big moves, is that a bad thing? Is that what it Maybe. Feel? Sounds like an excuse. <laughs> Maybe. Keep going. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have, we have some more merch coming out. Um, we have that tournament that we're planning, which is going to be fun. Okay. Oh, tournament. Okay. So we have the tournament we're planning, right? Um, it's going to be like PMA Miss, right? It's going to be near Christmas, uh, the 18th, I believe, or it's going to start off PMA Miss. So the deal is... Um, What's it called? PMA, PMA Mist? PMA Miss. You know, like, you know, Christmas? Like, you know... Oh, PMA, PMA Yeah. Like, 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 Weird, though, but it's M-A-S? Seven Days of PMA Miss? Yeah. PMA Miss. PMA Miss. Yeah. Okay. I hope they brought my head around that. Uh, so, okay, keep going. So, so it's going to be cake, – cake's work and everything. You know, she's a, the idea lady. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be like seven days of PMA Miss where we do fun stuff and, and everything for Christmas. Um, the 18th is going to be a tournament. Uh, so I'm not sure – if you know, I, I, have a, I have a sponsorship with MetaView. Uh, I can shoot you their stuff uh, here uh, off Instagram Live, and that's going through. Um, anyway, Great. they also are sponsoring the tournament. So it's going to be a five hundred dollar sponsored tournament, which I think is great. You know, that's because the tournaments are for community. It's for building Team PMA, bring us all together, showing the world what we got. PMA, positive mental attitude, action. Um, but to have five hundred dollars for the for for the tournament is great. You know, that's awesome. Yeah, it's um, usually RP or whatever, so that's great. Yeah, yeah. So but you're getting paid too, right? Yes. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I'll. I'll DM you. Yeah, okay. um, yeah, yeah, that's fine. You'll stay here. Yeah, so so it's cool. We have we have a sponsorship for that tournament. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be big, um, cool beans. And that's going to lead into PMA Miss. So that's what we have going around Team PMA to get more action on that. Um, 
you know, growing the team has been a growing process. We're learning as we go. So it's always stuff to keep up with. You know, we're kind of figuring out um, what we want for, like, the bench. Because, you know, our team, PMA, is revolved around just being positive, right? There's no way to measure that, right? Like, you can't say, hey, you're positive, you're not, right? You can't do that. It doesn't make sense. You know, to a can, degree. Can you – hold on. Can you track the um, – because you get honors at the end of a game. That system is definitely not worth to invest chips in. I have friends that tell people bad things when they're on our five, okay? That's but but for different is. but there's different categories, right? There's friendly. Isn't GG friendly one of them? Friendly and whenever I honor somebody I close my eyes and just click. That system is come on, that system is out a little outdated, okay? Ryan's doing a lot of good things in preseason, but the honor and not the good girl. Um, I wonder well, I wonder if I wonder if there's a, First off, can you even find that on people? Like, can can you – is that a public thing to find out what I, people's – I, I would have to Google it. I, I never heard of anything like that. I never heard of being able to track honors. But you can see it on your own. You can see for the game. I don't think you can see total. No. Okay, maybe. I think there's something there. Anyway, okay. Well, maybe, yeah. Listen, are, are you telling me you think Froggen's getting – Perfect no, stars okay. on GG friendly. No, you can, you can, you can track it to some degree, but it's like you know, there's always a fine line, right? There's always a fine line when you know, doing all that. But anyway, we're restructuring recruiting, which is going to go cool. Um, we're putting a lot of time into it. I think it's it's good though. I think it's a good thing to put time into. It, it feels great. Do you think it's worthy to invest all this time into? Do you think it's uh, going as you as do you think it's going well? Do you think we're doing a good job? How do you feel about it? Um, well, I like how you, you birthed this thing from nothing, right? Just an idea, and then poof, now you've got how many? 40 people? 50 people? Yeah, 45. Oh, right? Yeah. Which is awesome. So let me double check on that number. Time out. We've got a couple more recently. Well, close enough. 44, 44. Yeah, awesome. The, I think the big thing still is you have to figure out a revenue model. Tournaments is fine but it's not really going to pay the, the bills a ton. And it doesn't get the PMA members money, which is what I'd like to do. I'd like to be able to create a space where you're, you're by joining team PMA, there's criteria to get in. You got to be a positive person. You have to want to spread the message and the mission, all that. And we're going to help you get paid. That would so be that, nice. That'd be wonderful to guarantee that. Well, you, it's like, you don't have to necessarily guarantee it, but it's, you have, they have to follow the steps. They have to do these things to be able to do it, which is why I said I think you need to have for 90% for, for of them, right? So for 40 of your 44 people, you're doing office hours and, and helping them build their stream, answering questions, and just giving them all the tips because every, everybody's still smaller than you, right, on, on, in, in the group. Yeah, like you're the biggest one. Yeah, uh, so I've got, I've got, we've got a couple people about the same as me. So, but besides okay. that, yeah, everybody's generally smaller. And and now that you're doing other things, now that you're doing sponsored tournaments, now that you're doing YouTube videos, now that you're getting coaching, like all this stuff, is things that that these guys want and have no idea how to do. And and you could give them guidance. You can't help them get to way up here yet because you haven't done it but every time you learn and you grow and you do something new you can coach and teach people so that's part of the group that's for 40 to 44 people and in the last four the people who you work with and I mean, last time we talked about youtube being the path which i still think is the best path um helping them build the youtube channels because you get paid yeah so youtube's still looking like the way and yeah, we're we're at a standstill in my situation for now. Um, we're still looking into all that. Yeah. Um, but is there enough momentum there? Like, did you do anything in the past two weeks on it? Uh, yes. We okay, started good. reaching it. We re started reaching out uh, with the free options, right? We started yeah, trying yeah. to exhaust our free options, which we're waiting to hear back on. Um, and then we'll have to go into the paid route, you know, handling all that. Yeah. Uh, but we've we've tried. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think YouTube's still a decent route. A decent route. To, is it route or route? Either way. Either way. Okay. I think it's still a decent route to take. Um. That, yeah. I. I think once I get my situation a little bit more handled with that, then it will be feel like, you know, better to to put it all into that. 
Well, then, like, if you're going to wait on that domino to fall, then you've got to put an insane amount of time, pressure, resources to make it happen. If you're basically saying, like, Team PMA doesn't make money, or, like, I can't help my guys, my elite people make money until I solve this one thing, then that one thing has to get solved. True. Fair. Right? Fair then it's not like in, in, in three weeks or whenever we talk again, it's like, yeah, you know, momentum, it's happening, nothing big, but still just kind of going. <laughs> well, that's what I sound like. Hey, that's not cool. Because <laughs> it's a big domino, right? It's a big, yeah. this is the thing that, that will, will help people start to make money and spread. Because if, if you can help them start to make money while teaching them how to do it responsibly in a good way, spreading love, kindness, not toxicity, a lot of people watch YouTube videos just to see somebody slamming each other and just to see how toxic whoever this person was and I carried this guy or whatever. They like the drama, right? And you're, you're basically being the opposite, which I like. I mean, it's what my channel is. I'm the opposite of all the drama, right? I could do the top 10 like stupid things Kanye has said in his life, right? That video would blow up. I just don't wanna, I don't wanna spread the negativity. Um, I, th I think everything else is great is is the is you're just laying bricks which is awesome it's just going to stay slow until you figure this out yeah yeah it's yeah it's accurate um i feel like there's a lot going on right i feel like what it, is is that a bad thing with slow for say another two weeks is that yes a bad thing? it's a bad business <laughs> thing huh bad business. See, it's a bad life thing. i mean I'm, you don't I'm need blacking. to go slow it's a, just a bad it's just Bad. We have a lot going on, though. What do you mean? No, but none what, of that matters. What if I like, go fast and hit a, hit a wall and break Here's my the thing, neck? okay. Like, if you need to go slow because of family pressures or health issues or you're just stressed out or whatever, that's different, right? If you need time for yourself, great. Take the time for yourself. If it's lots of stuff going on in the business, then, then no, because it's, a, it's about prioritizing where you're spending your time in the business this is the most important domino. The other stuff doesn't matter. The merch doesn't matter. Like you're not going to make a ton of money off of merch, yeah. right? Yeah, I, I don't invest too much of my time into that. Cake just handles that, which is good. It's different no, but Cake is stuff. handling everything, right? I mean, this is, that's the point. It's where's, you're, you're the face and you're the, you're the guy up the front and you're the, you're the heart, right? You're the heart and she's the brain. True. That's True. what it is. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> So, but we need the brain working on the right things too. Like we need both of you guys working on the right things for the amount of time that is actually spent on work, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you got a lot going on, but a lot going on inside of, inside of the work side. And most of it is just small stuff that won't move the needle forward as much as you need to. Okay, yeah, fair enough. All right, gotta get to it then. Can we, can, let's make sure you just hide the liquid hat. Just keep your head above the... <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Um, let's see. Okay. Oh, um, as a revenue model. So, um, I wanted your honest opinion. Honest opinion. I always um, give my honest opinion. You don't have to preface it. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So for me, you know how I make my living, right? You have like Twitch, YouTube, both revenues. Um, sponsorships are becoming third revenue which is great like that's awesome usually sponsorships feel like they're random at my yeah. size but now they're coming more consistent you know so that's okay cool. but how you that's do it like... how you how you need to up that and maybe this is cake doing it if she's negotiating you turn this one-off tournament at the beginning you should turn it into an annual thing like a, a monthly thing for a year an annual deal like with the sponsorship or as a tournament both uh well, it's not easy to have a tournament a month. It's not like realistic either, you know, with, with sponsored stuff. Well, a sponsor is something every month, like by default. This happens in the entrepreneur world too, or YouTube world. Well, how would I get a guaranteed sponsor every month? They're just say, hey no, guys, no, 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 hold on, no, 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 The sponsor, that's what you pitch the sponsor. Who's the sponsor of this one? MetaView. MetaView? Mm -hmm. What do they do? You haven't heard of them yet. So they are releasing. It hasn't released yet. They're releasing in about two, three weeks. Yeah. Um, it's going to be, and I'm going to send you all this. I'm going to send you. 
all the goodies. It's going to be an app that shows uh, pretty much from video game communities. It's not just the league. So, you know, Super Smash Bros. League, Call of Duty, you know, all the communities. It's going to be an app built to pretty much uh, run on clips, right? Whether it's from streamers that they're sponsored with or not, it's going to be like all clips, which is going to make the app. So it's like, hey, you know, I missed out Call of Duty for the weekend. Let's see what the top, you know, our cool streamers are doing from Call of Duty. You scroll through a couple of clips in a playlist and bada bing, you're updated. Got it. So the the talk with them should be, yes, we could do a one-off deal where we're we're just doing this Christmas meta miss PMA miss PMA, PMA miss. miss PMA miss. Come on, get it together. <laughs> it's hard. It's a hard one. <laughs> but we'll we'll run with it. Um tournament. But actually the way the way it works best, if you really wanna if you really want to get exposure to me and my community, it's the repetition. And, and the better thing to do is to, is to do something together every month for a year. And we can lock it in now because my community is gonna grow. Here's no, how I've been growing. says no, where do I go after that? Then you go back to where you were. Running you go back to like just do PMMs. What? Yeah. yeah, just running a tournament every once in a while. Yeah, but like a lot of times you have to, a lot of these brands, especially the new ones, they have no idea. Oh, we should do influencer marketing. We should do some kind of partnership. I don't know who's on there. Oh, Manco, great. Let's work with him. They have I no feel, idea. I feel like you're pretty accurate in that, you know, which is kind of crazy to think. But yeah, it's pretty accurate, I feel like, in a lot of companies. <laughs> it's, it's not crazy. But so this is it. You need to guide them and tell them what to do. You need to hey. tell them what to do to say, hey, this can work and I'll, I'll do my best to promote PMA Miss and we'll get this kind of stuff going on. But if you really want to grow your brand and you want to be the household name for Clips and your app not just launch but have continued success, the best way to do it is to create a monthly plan together for a year. And I can lock you in right now at this rate even though my community is going to grow for the next 12 months, right? And you can show where, like, how much have you grown in the past 12 months on Twitch? A lot. Like 100%? Uh, more? No, I would have to look. I, get, I have no idea off the top of my head. Okay, but whatever. Know. Let's say yeah. it's 100%. Maybe it's 200%. Maybe it's 50%. But it's a big number. It's not like you had 5% so, growth over the, the last year. The way you sold me on that was pretty well. I, I had to give it to you. Old okay, man, this, Evan still got it, okay? Old man. <laughs> this, this is it. That, like, that's yeah. the plan, right? So I see where you're coming from. I'll lock you in right now for a monthly deal. And if it's not a tournament, then it's something else that you're going to talk about them once a month. And you, you have to figure out what, what's going to actually work that you feel comfortable with. Maybe you're going to wear their hoodie or you're going to wear their hat instead of that stupid liquid one. Maybe you're going to, you know, do, do a, uh, just a, a Sunday fun with your community or your team PMAs that's going to be brought mm -hmm. to you by whoever. Like you can, you can slice and dice it as many times as you want. But the idea is to go to them and, and turn any one-off deal into a monthly deal for a year. You turn it into an yeah. annual deal. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely, next time this comes up, because we're already locked in with them for, for this thing. Um, but that's something really to, for me to consider next time. Like, next, because the sponsorships, you, like what you just said, they kind of approach you not really knowing, in most parts. Like, the guy we made of you is great. He's been, you know. Um, but most sponsorships, the emails I get are like, you know, very, you could tell us they have no idea what direction they're going in. So that is going to be a good, like, weapon in my arsenal to use, you know. And I think that's, that's great. You planted that idea on my head, so I appreciate that. And that's, you're going to make 12 smart. times more money. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you. I had something else I was going to say, but I kind of forgot. I was wowed by your, your pitch. It's, it's what I did, you know, at the beginning when I was doing brand deals on YouTube where – in my world, it's like uh, Bank of America wants to work with you on something, right? And at this point, I, I'm, unless I'm actually using, like I say no to almost everything, um, but Why? if you can get behind it. Because um, you're rich. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, it's like I don't need it. And usually the requirements are just too, they, they want too much control. You know, so it's like it has to be a video that goes up has to go through their vetting process. It's like, I don't want to do it. Mm. I, I don't want I don't want your account manager looking at my video and telling me what to do. 
I respect that. Nice. Yeah. Good for you. It's just like, just doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, at the beginning, uh, you know, we had Sage and we had telcos and we had, you know, banks and all, I'm an entrepreneur audience, right? So those are the kind of companies that I'm going to get. I'm not going to get a League of Legends app or something, want to sponsor my videos. So it's just the wrong audience. But they had no idea what they're doing. They just legit have no idea. And they say, oh, we're thinking about doing this. What do you think? Like, and I, I realized that they just had no idea what they were doing. Because in my head, I'm thinking, ooh, that's not going to work. But if they're going to pay me to do it, okay, I'll take it. We'll, make, <laughs> we'll, we'll do something. Like, I'll still make my best version of it. But I'm thinking, this, this isn't going to work long term. So that's your job is to think, how can this actually work long term? Like this app. Great, you do the tournament, you get some buzz for it, and, and some people go download the apps. But what is actually the best thing for them long term with your community? Like, how could you actually drive a lot of views and attention for the app? What does it require? Does it maybe you're making content for the app? Maybe whenever you clip from Twitch, you're, you're also clipping it for the app? Like, personally, well, with me, I'm, I'm locked in with them for six months, so we do have the long term aspect where the tournament's just like, kind of like a bonus. Oh, but you're getting paid for six months? Yeah. Okay, great. Awesome. Yeah, so so the so the long term there is with me for six months. The tournament would just be like a it's it's like they're just throwing an extra five hundred for that tournament as like a bonus, you know, it's like a hey, let's get off to a good start, right? Okay, great. So but that's awesome. Like I want so default into six months, I would have thought like a year, let's go a year next time. But that's great. So it's not just this one off sponsorship, but it's so what are you gonna do next month for them? You have to talk about it or what are you gonna be doing? Well, once a month, I you know not once uh, every two weeks a Twitter post. Um, I just have their their layout on my stream, and uh, like I said, the, I talked to the guy multiple times, and I truly believe in the app. So I'm going to do everything I I freaking can to get it rolling. You know. So so that's the thing is you have to start thinking. They're going to tell you what they want, but they have no idea what's going to work. It's literally somebody just came up with a bunch of ideas and a whiteboard, and then said, "Okay, here's what we want." Yeah. You have to think what's actually going to work for your community. That's going to actually drive some Download interest. Download the damn app. Go check out these clips. I'm on there. Some of the other favorite streamers are on there. Okay. Okay. okay but what is it? Is it that you're going to do a little commercial in every stream that you're doing? Is it you're going to do a pre-roll on your YouTube videos? Is it you're going to tweet about it? Like what they're asking for. He's stretching. Sorry. The, no, the cats. The cats are going crazy. Kids. Okay. Keep going. What they're asking for, 50% of it, at least, is useless. You already know it's useless. <laughs> hot takes. <laughs> That's not a hot take. That's the truth. <laughs> you already know it. You should look at the list of what they asked for. It's like, yeah, I could do that, 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 that. And you realize, all right, whatever. That's useless. Like, but how do tweets, I really I, make meaningful gain for them? Because I believe in that company. So how do I really Yeah, so how do you actually rolling? help them? Like, be the guy who can actually help them. That's how you get paid more. That's how you start getting more sponsors in as well. It's like Manko's the guy who actually delivers, right? So they Which have I no idea. Like is accurate. I feel like when it comes to these sponsorships, I, I feel like sometimes I should have been a salesman in a different life. You know, I feel like I can, I'm really well at it compared to your average just a streamer that just says, hey, check out this thing for giving a dollar, you know? Yeah. Like I feel like I can actually do that. So you, gotta, you need to have your plan for how you would promote something. So half of their stuff is useless. Like, great, you could post about it on Twitter, but maybe you suck on Twitter and nobody follows you and it doesn't matter, right? I don't know, so I'm not saying that. But you look at the list and you know this half is junk. And then you know this half is maybe okay, but then they should be doing these other things. For your community, maybe it doesn't work across all of gaming and or all of league, but for your community, they should be doing these things. So that's your job to then say, okay, let's kill these things because this actually doesn't matter. And I don't want you wasting time or money. This is a waste of time right now because it's not going to drive a lot. I can do it, but it's not going to drive a lot of attention. And all I want is your app to sell. Do I, I want to now, now do I, when I do that, do I say that to them or do I? Just... Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. You have to tell them what to do. They don't know what to do. Okay. Especially for your audience. They have no idea. So if you know that a tweet is a waste of time every two weeks, then tell them that. Unless they're going to boost it or something, if they're going to do something on their end to help it, and you say, we should be doing these things. Here's what, if you, if you want me to actually move the needle for your app, here's what we should be doing. 
this, 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 and this, and this will help. And maybe, maybe that even costs more. Now maybe you're doubling how much you're getting paid every month. And maybe now that's a 12 month deal that you lock in right now while you're still, you know, small compared to where you're going to be in a year. It's like, holy cow, who's this Manko guy? This is awesome. That's my really first brand deal, out. my first brand deal I did, I got 500 bucks for it. I wrote a blog post and then they hired 10 people to write blog posts. Just like you, they're hiring a whole bunch of different guys, right? And you're not just the only person they're working with. They're, they're working with lots of different streamers from different games, which is fine. Your goal is to be the best. From those 10, they asked, write a blog post. Uh, so I wrote, they asked for like 300 words or 500 words. I wrote 1,500 words, and I made a video, and I promoted it. Okay, overachiever. That's why yeah, man, but that's how it now. works. Then I came back. That, then at the end of the trial, guess who was the only one who, John Asif in the house, welcome board, man. When I came back uh, after the trial, I was the only one out of the 10 that was hired on. And then, they started char then I started charging double, and then it was triple. And then we went from 500 bucks, like 2,500 bucks uh, per post, because I was just bringing so much value. That's your job. You've got, you're one of... 20, 50, 100, 200 people that they're trying this thing with. Your job is to be the best and to guide them and help them of how to actually work with streamers because they have no, just assume they have no idea what they're doing because they don't. And then you turn that into an annual deal and you're charging three to five times as much. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. And then you start yeah, teaching, you, you start and teaching the PMA guys. Both ends, you know? Of course, because you're and, delivering and, and, way more. Yeah, I'm not saying rip them off. No, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is what's going to work. You're actually ripping them off right now by doing half of the thing, like tweets and everything else that you know in your head is kind of not worth it. They're not going to get anything. You're actually kind of ripping them off right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks for having faith in me. Yeah. Man, well, so like now make it better for the next one. <laughs> yeah. I think, um, I think the good thing is that I feel like everything that I go through with the mentoring stuff, like everything that I go through, I want to bring to the team PMA guys and, and, yes. and girls, you know, and yes. it's like, Hey, I did this sponsorship for $500. It should have been a thousand. I should have done double of what I did. Right. And we should, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be. And yeah. I think that, I think it is, I think it's going to work. I think it's like a great, like that's the, uh, yeah, I feel like the first way of being more serious with team PMA and, and everything is like that mentoring and along with hopefully bringing them opportunities. Um, you know, like when I got a couple sponsors for, for just a couple people so far and it feels great. It makes me feel good. And I'm not even getting anything from it. Right. And like, ideally it's like, Hey, here's a sponsorship. You're making five grand. I'm making one grand. We're both happy. Cool. It's like awesome. And that is, that would be a great spot to be in. So it's like, that's the, the game plan. They need to be at a certain size though, right? So for, for, Oh, I, me and cake, sorry to cut you off. Me and cake thought about maybe like a tier system. So like, uh, you know, like maybe like tier one, tier two, tier three, tier one is the people that want to be like full-time streamers that have the potential that have, you know, 200 viewers or whatever. Tier two could be this tier three could be like people who just support and they're great streamers. Do you think that's a good idea? No. Yeah, I mean, you don't really know yet, so I wouldn't worry about specifics. I, I still think of it as 90% and, and 10%. You 90% are the free people who are adding to the vibe of the community, who, who you're doing office hours with, who you can co in. This lesson I just taught you, you can teach them. Anytime anybody signs a brand deal, any of your guys sign any kind of brand deal, you need to ask them, did you try to make it in a 12-month deal? Yeah, Every single yeah, yeah. time. And if they say no, then, and even if the client says no, okay, great, we'll just stick to PMA miss. It's not that they're gonna now back on the deal, but you need to, like this lesson you can now impart. 90% is free and office hours with Manco and 10% you work with. I still think YouTube is a faster path and more sustainable than sponsorship. Um, but yes, that you're then actually hands-on helping people with that final 10%. So tier system, whatever, yes. Okay. Like, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick with the YouTube. Me and uh, we're gonna, got, we're I want momentum by the next uh, DM me whatever message. Like we got to make stuff happen between now and the next time we talk here. Okay, you got it. Okay, I gotta go. Much Have love, man. Time. Later, Brush buddy. it. Okay, ciao.